My name is McKenna Poplinski, and the title of my presentation is Predicting Changes in Southern California's Residential Electricity Consumption Using Machine Learning Models. <clears throat> Decades of urbanization has shifted over half of the global population to cities, a fraction that is expected to continue increasing to 66% by 2050, according to data from the UN. And at the same time, cities are experiencing rising average temperatures and more frequent extreme heat waves from global climate change. Together, these trends will alter the way energy is consumed, produced, and delivered, as well as intensify overall electricity demand through an increased demand for air conditioning. These trends mean that understanding climate energy interactions will be really important for grid reliability and climate policy. This is because an increased demand for cooling puts pressure on our grid and exacerbates household energy insecurity. However, establishing the relationship between electricity and temperature is difficult due to spatial variations in climate, socioeconomics, and housing stock. And previous studies have been limited by coarse resolution data, which does not fully capture these variations or how they drive residential electricity use. Right now, the spatiotemporal resolution of future energy needs is not well understood, but we can begin, begin to build a more detailed understanding through our access to a high spatiotemporal resolution smart meter data set. In this data set, we have hourly electricity records from 180,000 homes in the Southern California region for two years, as well as site weather, socioeconomic data, and building characteristics that have all been shown to influence electricity consumption. Previous work within my group, which was led by Dr. Mo Chen, used this data to identify the most vulnerable populations to future warming. A simple linear regression model was used to first establish a relationship between electricity and temperature, and then identify which populations lacked access to AC and therefore might be most vulnerable to extreme heat events. The results from this study are displayed in the figure below, and this figure shows projected extreme heat events for Southern California with the most vulnerable census tracts highlighted in yellow. Results from the study provide insight into the influence of climate and socioeconomic status on electricity use, but linear regression models are very limited in their ability to predict electricity consumption under future climate change scenarios. So in my line of research, we are then focused on the question of, can we develop a model to predict how urban warming will impact electricity consumption across highly variable populations and building stocks? And we will use machine learning models to do this because of their ability to learn complex relationships and their ease of adaption to new scenarios. So with our machine learning model, we can take the weather, socioeconomic, and building characteristics as input variables and the electricity consumption of a household and input this into our machine learning models. And the models learn the relationship between the input variables and electricity consumption so that they can predict electricity consumption on a set of new households as a function of their features. After training these models and predicting electricity consumption, we can look at which of the features that were given to the model were most useful in predicting the electricity consumption through permutation feature importance. The tables below show the top 10 most important features for an MLP regressor that has been trained with household level data in which the electricity consumption was aggregated to the annual level on the left and to the monthly level on the right. And the colors on these tables indicate which category the features belong to, with green being building characteristics, blue being socioeconomics, and pink being climate indicators. And so the feature importance we can see varies significantly between these two resolutions. And in general, we see that climate indicators are more useful for the monthly model than the annual model. Total square footage is found to be the most useful feature in predicting the target variable of electricity consumption for the annual model and is significantly more important than the rest of the features, including the temperature indicator of cooling degree days, which is only ranked at fourth, but has a low importance value of 0 0.015. For the monthly model, total square footage remains important, but the average monthly temperature is ranked at first above it. The lower importance of climate variables in the annual model is expected as we only have two years of data and there's not enough variation in temperature for the model to pick up on. So in conclusion, building off past work, we were able to develop a machine learning model to predict electricity consumption using site weather, building characteristics, and socioeconomics. And our preliminary results suggest that total square footage is most important in predicting annual electricity consumption well, average monthly temperature is most important for monthly models. And in our future work, we plan to use this optimized model to predict electricity consumption under future warming scenarios.
Thank you.